In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at the trigonometric ratios. Trigono what? Trigonometric. The trigonometric or trig ratios are sine, cosine and tangent. You may have noticed them on your calculator. Sine, say sine and not sin, cos and tan. They are actually set ratios between different pairings of sides in a right angle triangle. They allow us to find missing information about right angle triangles. The ratios. So what are the pairings or ratios then? All right, in our triangle, we can see a given angle there, theta. So we're going to start by labeling it as we did in the previous lesson. Starting with the hypotenuse. Directly in front of theta, we'll find the opposite. And between theta and the right angle, we'll find adjacent. Sine, or the sine ratio, is opposite over hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. And lastly we have tan, which is opposite over adjacent. Copy that down. So how are we going to remember that? It's as easy as soccer toa. Alright, so the word soccer toa helps us to remember. We can see there sine opposite hypotenuse cos adjacent hypotenuse and tan opposite and adjacent. So if we take a closer look at each of the individual ratios, sine opposite over hypotenuse, cos adjacent over hypotenuse and tan opposite over adjacent. Take a moment to copy that down. And how are we going to remember soccer toa? Well, some people will just remember Sokotoa, but others might need a little bit of help. So if we use Sokotoa as an acronym, we can create some little sentences that help us remember. Some old hags can't always hide their old age. So if we look at the first letter of each word there, it forms Sokotoa. Silly old Henry can't add hundreds, tens or anything. Simple old Herman carries a huge tub of apples. Silly old Harry caught a herring trawling off Australia. Some old hag cracked all her teeth on apples. Some old horse caught another horse taking oats away. Could a hungry stupid ostrich have taken over America? That one's not Sokotoa, but it does help some people remember. Or you could make up your own, just using the letters S-O-H-C-A-H and T-O-A. Whatever helps you remember it. All right, let's look at some examples. Our first example, we're gonna find sine theta from this triangle. So our first step in all these questions is to label the sides of the triangle. So we'll start by labeling the hypotenuse with a H. Directly in front of theta, we'll find opposite, and between theta and the right angle, we will find the adjacent. So from before, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So using the values that we have in the triangle, opposite is 3 and the hypotenuse is 5, so sine theta is 3 over 5. In our second example, we're going to find cos 28. So this time, instead of a theta, our given angle is actually a measurement of 28 degrees. So again, start by labeling the triangle. H for hypotenuse. Directly in front of 28, we'll find the opposite. And between 28 and the right angle, we'll find A. So the cos ratio is cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Now in this situation, we're going to replace theta with 28 degrees, and the adjacent side is 15, and the hypotenuse is 17. So we should get cos 28 equals 15 over 17. In the third example, we're finding tan x. So again, we're going to label the triangles with h, o, and a, hypotenuse, opposite, and adjacent. And the tan ratio is tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. So theta will be replaced by x, opposite will be replaced by 5, and the adjacent will be replaced by 12. So we should have tan x equals 5 over 12. Take a moment to copy those three examples down. Now this skill might not seem like much, but it underpins everything that we do in trigonometry. Because if we can't decide between sine, cos and tan, we can't find out any missing information about any right angle triangle at all. So very, very important lesson today.